Hey guys, Barbara here. Seeing your data in a graph helps you to understand it better. Let's see things differently. When you visualize your data in a graph, you will see it in a new perspective. A picture is worth a thousand words. The data that we work with and present helps us to drive all sorts of decisions. Understanding how to visualize and map out a story when you are looking at a bunch of numbers can seem like a challenge. Google Sheets can be used to create all sorts of charts which will assist you in painting your picture. These charts can also be embedded into Google Sites, Slides and Docs. This integrated functionality will assist you in your document creation needs. Let's get you set up to create stunning graphs that will help you to make sense of all that data. Here we have a container dataset that we will be using to create our charts. There are a number of pivot tables that have already been set up with this data and we will now use those pivot tables to create the various charts to see how they work. The first dataset that we will be looking at has a number of countries and the total amount for the container fee. In order to insert a chart, Highlight the data that you would like to visualize, use the header rows as well, and use your little chart icon shortcut on your toolbar, or alternatively, head to Insert and down to Chart. A chart will immediately be inserted into your sheet. You can click on it and move it around. Use the little blue squares to resize it as you need. Notice how it automatically added in my X and Y details. This is because I highlighted the data when I inserted the chart. You can double click into these fields and edit them. If yours does not pull through, I will show you in a bit where you can add that data in. If you would like to change your chart title, you can do that by simply clicking into this space and retitling it. I will show you in a bit where to add and edit it another way too. You will notice that when you insert a chart, it automatically adds in your chart editor. However, if you have closed this side panel by mistake, use the three dots and you will see on your chart, from the little menu that appears, choose to edit the chart, and your chart editor will open again. Your chart editor has two tabs to it, the Setup and Customize tab. Let's start on Setup. The first thing you will decide is what type of chart you would like to have. You will notice from the drop-down, you can choose all sorts of charts, from pie charts, to bar charts, a waterfall chart, a line chart, a donut chart, a 3D pie chart, and even a scatter chart. Let's leave this one on a pie chart. Once you have chosen the chart, there are some more options that you have that you can use. Here you will see the data range. You can edit and customize this should you wish to do so. For a pie chart, you will be able to determine what labels appear. You can switch between those labels here and decide what is shown. Let's look at customizing it further. At the top of the Customize tab, you have your chart style. Here, you can change the background color of your chart, you can change the font, and you can also change the border. Notice what happens when I select these options over here. The next option down will relate specifically to the chart type that you are working with. If I wanted to make this a donut hole chart, I can choose the percentage of that hole and give the slices a slight border. If you want your data to be represented in the chart itself, you can do that in the slice labels. You can change these fonts and the label formats a bit more should you wish to do so. The next section down is the pie slice. When you use this, you can start editing the individual slices of your pie chart. You will see at the top is a little drop down to choose what slice you would like to edit. If you would like to change the color of that slice, you can do it from here. If you want that slice to move out and away from the other slices, use this option, Distance from Center. See how your chart shifts to adapt? You can take more than one slice out at a time should you need to. This may be a nice way to bring attention to certain elements. Continue to edit each slice as you need. Next, we have your chart title editor. Here, you can adjust the title, change the font, change the font size, and where it appears, and even the color. If you would like to adjust your legend, use this area over here. 
You can now move it to the top, to the side, wherever you feel is best. You can adjust this text to suit your needs as well. Let's move away from the pie chart and have a look at another chart type. For this data set here, we will create a stacked column chart so that we can see each country and how much they have paid, not paid, and still have pending payments. This will help us to get an understanding of these ratios in a more visual way. Start by highlighting your data and don't forget the data headers. Head to Insert and choose Charts. You will notice that Google has automatically recognized that this type of data should be a stacked column chart and chose that option immediately. You can change the chart type from your Setup tab using this little drop-down over here. With regards to stacking, you can decide if you would like to have standard stacking, no stacking, or alternatively, to have your stacking all the way to 100% to get a good idea of the ratios in comparison to each other. On your Customize tab, you can choose to change the chart style as you saw earlier, the chart title, and then here, for this type of chart, we will edit the series. Notice your little drop-down. Choose the series you would like to edit. I think Not Paid makes the most sense to be red, then Pending to be yellow, and Paid to be green. I will choose each series accordingly and edit the color for each one. That looks better. You can now move your legend as well as edit the vertical and horizontal axes from here. If you close the chart editor and click on the chart itself, you will see your three dots. Here you can open the chart editor, delete the chart, download it as a PNG, PDF or as a vector file, publish it, copy the chart and then paste it into a doc, presentation or anywhere that you need. When you choose to move it to its own sheet, it will remove it from the spreadsheet and into its own sheet. Your options will then move to the top where you can copy, edit, publish, download or delete it. There are many different chart types like column charts, organograms, line charts, geo charts and more. For each of these charts, simply open the chart editor and work with the fields that you have available to make the chart work for you and your visualization needs. Thank you.